To create a newsletter, start by navigating to the Newsletter tab in the navigation bar. Next, you will see two newsletter options, Newsletters and Newsletters Classic. This is the old version where all previous newsletters can be found. We'll be using our newest newsletter features, Newsletter, in this course. Select Create New. Next, you can choose from Manual Newsletter or Automated Newsletter. Let's select Manual Newsletter. We'll touch on automated newsletters in a later lesson. In step one, you will review the template options within the template library. Click on the eye icon to preview each template and scroll through to get a better idea of what the template includes. All templates have all of the same design elements. They just need to be toggled on or off. We are continuously adding template options to ensure you have a solid starting point to choose from. Let's select the balance template and click next. Now we are in step two, where we will customize the template. This is where it is important to have your company logo and brand guidelines handy, so you can customize the newsletter template to fit your brand's look and feel. You will see here all elements in the newsletter are clickable. When you click on an element, it can be updated via the options on the right-hand menu. Let's start by clicking the logo. Now, on the right-hand side, let's remove the existing logo and upload your company logo. From here, you can change the logo size by dragging the sizing bar. Next, let's click into the background color. Select the dropdown beside the color block to add your company's exact color via hex, RGB, and HSL. Or use the dropper to pull in an exact color on the page, such as from the logo. You can increase or decrease the padding size of this section. Click into the date to enter updated text, such as today's date or when you plan to send out the newsletter. Text style, sizing, and alignment can be updated. Next, let's move to the header image. We'll remove the existing image by clicking the X and add a new header via upload or image URL. Next, let's go ahead and update the background colors of the other sections to match our Meltwater branding. Now, let's go into the section area of the newsletter where the content will be showing. Here you can update the title settings such as font and color. You can do the same for the hit sentence and reach. Next, let's add sections to the newsletter. Select Add Section. To start organizing your newsletter, let's name the section Meltwater News and then select Apply. To add the next section, click on Add Section and type in the section name. You will see a dropdown underneath where you can copy the section type to ensure each section style matches. Click Add. In this first section name, let's update to Industry News and click Apply. Now let's scroll through the newsletter to make sure everything is customized as needed. In the next, to move to the next step in the newsletter creation process. Now we are in step three. This is where you will add the content and inputs to your newsletter. You will see instructions. Click here to begin adding articles or social posts. Click into this section. On the right hand side, you will notice there are zero results. This is because there are no inputs selected yet. To add an input, click the plus sign. You will select your inputs. You can choose from explore searches and tags. Let's select our brand, industry, and competitor searches. Click Select. The search results are now appearing. From here, you can select the content you would like added to your newsletter. The content is automatically added to the section you are in. To move the content to another section, hover over the article, click Move To, and then select the proper section. The article has now been moved. Now that the newsletter has been filled in with content and customized, select next to move to the final step. In step four, you will finalize the newsletter settings. Start by typing in your template name. 
This name will only appear in newsletters within Meltwater. The name acts as a label to help you find it later in the platform. Next, establish the email settings by typing in a subject line. This is what will appear in the recipient's inbox. Select an approved sender from the dropdown. Then select your recipient list. You can select from an existing recipient list or create a new one. Then select the list. Now you are ready to select Review and Send. This is where you will preview the newsletter before sending it out. It can be previewed within desktop and mobile. You have the option to go back and update email settings. Send yourself a test email or schedule. Let's select schedule. You will be prompted to send now or schedule to send out at a later date and time. Select schedule. You're all set and now brought back to the newsletter landing page.